What's up, everyone? Thank you for joining me for another episode of the Being Beautifully Honest podcast. And today I'm going to be talking about Jada Pinkett Smith and Will Smith and just want to get your thoughts on something that she shared. Now, as you know, we are all dealing with this quarantine situation and these stay at home orders. Whether you are an essential worker or not, whether you have your own business, um, you have children that you have to homeschool now or whatever, life has changed for so many of us. And Jada Pinkett Smith revealed that she was learning to be friends with Will because she realized that she didn't really know him at all. And a lot of people had, you know, negative things to say about it. And some people have said, oh, you know, they're headed towards a divorce. And then, of course, there have been a lot of things said about their marriage over the years. Some people have said that they have an unspoken of open marriage. Who really knows? I don't know. And I don't really care. But what I will say is that what she said is not that strange because here's one of the things that I feel like when you are growing just yourself you are learning who you are over the years more and more so to be coupled up with someone else who you know that person is going through their own issues they're going through their own acknowledgments about themselves their own discovery about who they really are what they really like and and then having the situations of life that groom you over the years whether it's your career or your family or life situations that you may be involved in it is not that surprising that they are not really knowing each other because the thing about it is when you are stuck being in a place together with someone, whether it is your mom, your children, your father, your, you know, siblings, or your spouse, like Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith, there are going to be issues that come about that you may not have to regularly deal with on a basis as often as it is when you're stuck together and being quarantined. Now, the spaces that they're quarantined in, of course, are not the same sizes as most of us everyday people, (laughs) if you want to call us that, where, you know, they may have a 25,000 square foot mansion. So being quarantined together is not that big of a deal because you're not really forced to be in a 2,000 square foot space or a 700 square foot space. So it's not that surprising or that shocking that she is saying that she doesn't really know Will. She said in the Us Weekly article that I'm having to dissolve all the stories and all the ideas of Will that I have built around those stories. The thing that Will and I are learning to do is be friends You get into all these ideas of what intimate relationships are supposed to look like, what marriages are supposed to be. And they've been married since 1997. So they've been together a long time. So you have to realize that when people have been together that long, and especially when they have the type of careers and industry that they're in, it is not that surprising that the person that they thought they knew when they married them and when they were dating them is not the same exact person today because people change over time. I try my best not to judge marriages so much because unless you've been married, even if you have been married, you never really know what somebody's going through in their own marriage. I've been married myself for 21 years And I don't give marriage advice. And one of the reasons is because you just don't know it all. You might give somebody a tip here or there. If someone asks you for advice, you might try to help them as much as you can. But you have to be really careful with that advice because every relationship is different. Every relationship is different. There is no real rule book to it. And you never should look to anyone as couple goals. You should just want the goals that you desire for your own relationship as a couple with the person that you're coupled up with. Because you just don't know what people go through in their household. For 
many people, Will and Jada may have been the definition of the marriage that they, you know, wanted to have. But then to hear her say today, she doesn't really know Will the way she thought she did. Some people may get shocked by that and say, oh my God, she doesn't really know her own husband and be turned off by it. But I don't think that that's really anything out of the ordinary. Now, will I say they have a conventional marriage? I don't really know because there has been, again, a speculation about them having an open marriage. There's even speculation about whether Will may play for the other team at times. I don't know, but for whatever it is, they are still together. They have chosen to stay together, to make it work, to be together no matter what. And I believe Jada even was quoted as saying years ago that divorce was never an option for them and that whatever they had to do, they were going to stay together, whether it meant, and I'm just assuming because this is not what she said. She didn't say this part, but I'm assuming whether it meant there was infidelities involved or whatever, they were not going to have those as rule breakers and um, marriage busters, but they were going to stick it out no matter what. So that's just my assumption with that, but I wanna know what you guys think about it. Do you feel that what they're going through is normal? Or do you feel that there's some other underlying issues involved and she's just not really sharing it? Which she doesn't have to share everything regarding her marriage and her relationship, but I would love to know what you guys think about it. So you let me know in the comment section what you guys feel about the marriage, what you feel about her saying that she doesn't really know Will the way she thought that she did. And let's just get into a discussion about it. Thanks so much for listening to this episode. Thank you for liking and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting on? And for those who have already subscribed and who have been subscribed, I really appreciate it. So check out the links in the description box. Thanks so much for supporting this channel and this podcast. And this is the Minister of Beauty here to share the Bible. That's business, inspiration, beauty, life, and enjoyment. And until the next episode, have an amazingly blessed and beautiful day.